right, I'm just doing another update of the airship. Um, I was able to film some stuff, but um, not really enough to get a full video out of it. So I'm probably going to do the same thing as I did last time. A little walk around of uh, what I did, and then I can add some time lapses and stuff at the end. Um, as you can see, we got the whole berm pretty much complete. Um, the thermal wrap's done, EPDM skirt's on, um, everything's sheeted, um, at least in the back side. The greenhouse still, we weren't able to get the concrete poured, so we weren't able to frame this, uh, the east and west walls. So the greenhouse is going to stay open for the winter. Um, got some plastic just to kind of keep the inside protected. So some of the EPDM is still exposed up here. Um, I can kind of show you how we attached it. Um, so that's just attached to the framing of the wall. Um, under here is the ICF. And then you can kind of see this is just the side wrapped around from over here. So there's a skirt coming all the way completely over the uh, thermal wrap. We added um, four inches of um, foam board up there as well as capping it with four inches of foam um, and then we ran the EPDM over that. I'll try and add some pictures to make that make sense. So right now I'm standing just above the cistern. You can see that's a two foot riser so the cistern's just two feet down from that. Um, we also completely wrapped the cistern in four inches of foam as well, um, keeping it insulated. And then this EPDM skirt here, it goes up the wall under this overhang, and then it comes all the way over the cistern. So I'm underneath the uh, overhang right now. Um, you can see we finished it off. We put some, just some plywood um, as a soffit. Uh, we did this before we added all this dirt in while we could still stand under here. Um, there's another shot of sort of the EPDM coming up, getting attached to the wall there. I'm standing up on the roof now. Uh, you can see I got the whole roof sheeted and covered with uh, ice and water shield. Um, this will keep it dry for the winter. Um, this will be the vent box, skylight box. Uh, it's just kind of temporarily sheeted over for the winter. Um, it's all flashed correctly. And... So as well as finishing the berm and the roof off, um, we we're also dug down right here. There's, you can see the tops of some ICF forms. Uh, we didn't pour concrete in them, but we just kind of used them um, just as a thermal break. Uh, there'll be concrete pouring on the top of that, and that'll kind of keep the frost from going in and under into the building. Um, you can see we also ran um, some conduit for electrical to come in. Did the same thing over on the other side here. Um, I don't know if you can see the ICFs, but the, uh, the main sewer line's coming through, and that'll go out to the septic tank, and we've got four feet deep um, thermal break right there. So obviously I finished the roof off, just wanted to show sort of the, the overhang I have here. Um, you can see that skylight box is actually over the overhang. Um, the reason I did that is I didn't want to set it back, because then water or snow could sit um, kind of in that seam and not, you know, it'd be a potential for a leak up there. So because of that, the skylight box is way bigger than they usually are. Um, I might switch it up in the spring. We'll see. Um, I was thinking about instead of having that plum like it is right now, maybe putting an angle on it. Um, you can mount either a solar panel or, um, solar hot water or something. Uh, we'll see. I'll think on that over the winter. Um, this is probably how it's going to sit for a while. Um, I'm back at work already. Uh, we kind of got, the weather kind of kicked us out a little quicker, so we didn't get as much done as we thought, but um, yeah, this is how it is. Uh, I'll attach all the, the little bits of footage I got of all this um, here at the end, if you're interested.
All right, so this morning I got all the TJIs on. Um, when I ordered the TJIs, there was a mistake when they delivered them. Uh, they were a different length than what I had ordered. Um, the ones in the middle were way too long and I had to cut about four feet off of them. And then the ones for over the wing walls um, were too short. So what I'm trying to do here is get this out to where when I put my next sheet of um, plywood on, I can have it all the way extended on both sides. So I need to add on a little section here to the TJI. The way I'm doing that is if you rip off a little bit of a two by 10, it fits inside the slot here. So I'm adding on a piece of two by 10, and then you can see that first one I've already done, a little piece of TJI onto that. Um, and then I'll plumb cut those. So I'm really only adding on about eight inches, um, but it's the only way to do it, to still have uh, the overhang I want on the front. All right, so yesterday I finished off uh, the east side over there. Today I'm working on the west side. Um, what I did is I popped a string line two inches up from the last sheet of plywood and then extended it all the way over. Um, that's what these top lines are here. Um, and then I got my level and drew a plumb line down and I'm just going through and doing that to, to all of them. And then that's where I'll cut them. Uh, the reason I did two inches back is I'm gonna be adding on an inch and a half, two by 10 and two by four. I ran out of two by 12, so I'm gonna have two pieces and to tie those together, I'm gonna cap it with half inch um, sheeting. All right, so you can see, this is the two inches I was talking about. Um, so now we're in line with that sheet. Um, this is the sheeting over, and then you can see the 2x4 I ripped the angle on, and then a full 2x10 at the bottom.